Josh was chair of health for many, many years um, until a bit of a political upset a couple of years ago where both Josh and I lost a couple of points in the, in the rankings. And I will talk to you about that. The reason that happened is because Josh and I are honest, bold, and not intimidating. Yeah. And so sometimes we end up on the losing end of certain petty battles, but the battle's over, but the war's not. Good government. I'm constantly working on video conferencing. Everyone who's on the Outer Islands wishes we had video testify, testimony, uh, as, as we do for the council. Uh, it's been surprisingly hard to pass. I suspect that some people don't want more public input. I'm going to skip a couple automatic voter registration and uh, all mail voting, the bottom one. Both of these things failed this year, once again. We have the lowest voting turnout in the nation. Oregon has the highest, and they do all mail voting, so we've been trying to push this for a few years. It passed the House, it passed the Senate, it died mysteriously in conference committee. It's almost as if they didn't want more participation. All these go good government bills, None of them passed. County preemption to regulate pesticides. Uh, boy, this is stuff, stuff that Senator Green has been working on, chlorpyrifos, neonicotinoids. This last one is an interesting story, a pesticide buffer zone. Two bills died mysterious deaths this year. One is the pesticide disclosure and buffer zones for large quantities of restricted use pesticides. The other one was medical aid in dying, sometimes called assisted suicide. Both of those bills, well, both of those bills died in a committee without that committee taking a vote on it. And the reason I mention it is this. I believe that as voters, you have the right to know where your legislators stand on the most controversial issues of the day. And I don't think that I have the right to hide from you when it comes time to a tough issue. I think you should know where I stand on that. And it makes me angry that the chair of a committee, this happened in the House, but it happens in the Senate too, that the chair of a committee would, would see uh, you know, a, a vote as, as a dangerous exposure for the members. They don't want to expose their members to this controversy, so they killed the bill without voting. In medical aid and dying, 80% of our state supported it. It passed the Senate without, you know, it passed the Senate and died in the House uh, committee without, without a vote. That's what bothers me, it's without a vote. This buffer zone was one of those ones. I'm constantly trying to force our insurance companies to cover naturopaths. Uh, we got a little further this year, but not all the way. Supposedly they're required to, but they, they don't all do so. Uh, okay, good, wonderful. Um, we're trying to do a fee on sugar-sweetened beverages. Josh and I are both working on this. Rat and lungworm let me, and death with dignity, I think I already discussed. Rat and lungworm is a big issue for all of us. I will briefly describe what happened because I think it's of interest. We had a bill. But, you know, for the last two years, I tried to get some funding for our rat and lungworm lab at the UH Hilo School of Pharmacy, who is doing the innovative, uh, the, the, the groundbreaking work on rat and lungworm in the United States. Um, I didn't get it past the last couple of years. This year I had this great opportunity and I had uh, another senator introduce it for me. Uh, the other senator is from Hilo. He's chair of the Higher Edu Com Ed Education Committee, which controls the university. He's in the majority. And he's from Hilo, where the lab is. These are three, so this was a slam dunk. I'm gonna get out of the way, I'm gonna be smart this year. I'm gonna get out of the way and let the guy who can pass this bill, pass this bill. And it was, it was a genius strategy. Yeah. And it didn't work, because in, in the end, which could not have been predicted, this senator was in a, a tiff with the money chair. And that money chair punished that senator by killing everything she could of that senator's I'll tell you her name later. The, the thing is, people play politics like this all the time, and there was all kinds of other things that they, could pun that they punished him for. I think playing that kind of game with this kind of issue is outrageous. There's a life or death issue that harms our community. And instead, 
The money that should have gone to our lab went to the Department of Health, which didn't ask for it and doesn't have a plan to spend on vector control on Maui, where they have been fighting this disease for a full two months. And so, you know, we're, that's what happened. In the end, it was even worse than that because this, this chair lost her position. It was, it was a big knockdown, drag out fight. Our senator from Hilo won, but there was a lot of collateral damage, including our rat lungworm funding. Meanwhile, I've committed myself to getting some funding for the lab, and I've met with the chancellor at UH, I, I'm meeting with the Department of Ag, I'm meeting with the governor himself in a week and a half on this issue, as well as some nonprofits like the Hawaii Community Foundation. I, I have already gotten a commitment from the UH Pharmacy School to, to add a, a lab manager to their staff and to fund that. So we got a little bit of funding for it. What was in danger is they were going to stop working on rat lungworm if they got no funding whatsoever for it, because they've been doing it on a shoestring and a prayer for, for uh, seven or eight years. So I'm committed to getting some funding for it. If we were all adults in the room, we would say, Department of Health, you got all this money you don't even know what to do with. Let's share it with the Rat Lung Room Lab and all work together to solve this problem, because we need vector control and we need research. And it's my great hope that we may yet all do that. But there's been some bad blood along the way. It's not as easy as that. And wish me luck. I'm going to really try to make that happen. So uh, to me, there was huge disappointments this year, the rat lungworm bill. And then to me, the medical aid in dying and the rail tax were the two biggest issues going into the session. And they both uh, didn't get any progress at all. So it was a very frustrating year in many ways. And in many ways, it was a giant snafu. We ended up doing nothing about a lot of stuff for no good reason. And the reason we did nothing wasn't because of the subject matter, but because we were fighting among ourselves for pure political reasons. It's not comfortable to admit this to you guys, but I think you should know the truth. And you know, uh, I wish I could tell you you need to change your senator, but it's not you guys that need to change your senator, it's certain other people. 